complaints we got was the discoloration that they were getting when they were filling their bathtubs up and trying to bathe their kids in water like this. Uh, they were washing their clothes. Uh, they'd take white shirts or white, white clothes and then they would turn out yellow. Um, we got a lot of complaints that people's uh, fingernails and toenails were turning yellow. Um, people's hair uh, was turning orange. The town can't stand water like that. I mean, it's been a joke for years. Um, I mean, you can even look over across the street where the hydrants are, where they have, you know, tried to flush hydrants to make it better, and you can see the street is orange. I ain't too crazy about taking a shower in like that. This thing. Yeah, th this had to come off because it's getting to where you, you couldn't pull this up. What we're doing here is to help resolve a water problem issue that's been going on for over 40 years. And what's happening is the water that's coming through these steel lines have been picking up iron and rust and, and you know, reddish color and it's been feeding it into all the residents and we have 100, 180 residents in this area. I wish I had a cup that I could show you that we could save but we have But this is how clear it is now. It's made a world of difference. I'm, I'm very well satisfied. I think things are really looking up and this should have been done a long time ago. This is what is going to the property owners. This is what the residents are getting today and this is what they were getting four months ago. I am tickled to death with the water now. Before I couldn't drink that water. Now I can drink it. We're getting excellent results from uh, the water that is flowing through our... We're, we're very, very um, satisfied with the results we're getting and we are looking to expand the devices in other areas in our city.